presented by Caltech. My name is Maria Konkova. I'm a second year graduate student in the physics department at Caltech. I work in the TAPER group, which stands for theoretical astrophysics, including relativity, and my field of expertise is numerical relativity, which is solving Einstein's equations on the computer. I love developing these simulations because I love coding, I love thinking about how best to solve a problem, and at the same time, I love running these simulations because it is, in a sense, like an experiment. I love being on campus and being surrounded by people who are excited about science, and it just feels like science camp all the time. Having a fellowship means I'm not tied to any professor. I get to explore and choose what I like. So I'm excited to sort of have this year of complete immersion into research. I'm uh, Mikhail Shapiro, I'm an assistant professor of chemical engineering. I started here just under two years ago and uh, Caltech built me a beautiful lab. We're interested in developing technologies to image and control biological function deep inside organisms. And to do that, we do molecular engineering, um, except the molecules we make have unusual properties that allow them to interact with things like magnetic fields and sound waves. As a relatively new lab, we're entering our third year, so this is where we start to actually publish some of our breakthroughs. We are are trying to take some of the technologies we've developed and move them into applications. In our case, we're primarily interested in neuroscience, um, but we're also doing things on cancer, we're doing things on targeted um, cell therapies, um, things that we can do with our technologies that can't be done um, any other way. My name is Jessica Watkins, and I am a postdoctoral fellow in the Division of Geological and Planetary Sciences at Caltech. I am working on the Mars Science Laboratory, trying to understand the geologic setting for where the rover is and uh, how the geology that we see within the crater uh, formed and how much water played a part in that process, using that as the line of discovery to make decisions about where the rover will go next. So I'm in my third month here. I've already been able to jump into the division and also jump in at JPL. It's been excellent to have uh, such a diversity of, uh, of knowledge, of expertise, and to be able to apply that to Mars coming from all the different angles has really been super exciting even in just these three months. We have another rover coming up. JPL is working on a Mars rover for launch in 2020. It'd be great to be able to use the skills that I'm learning here and be a part of all of Mars exploration. I'm Kevin Gilmartin, and I'm a professor of English literature. And last year, I was the winner of the Feynman Prize um, for, uh, uh, for excellence in teaching at Caltech. But the course I'm particularly excited about is a course in modern and contemporary Irish literature. One of the great things about teaching at Caltech is you can retrain yourself to teach in new disciplines because you're often not treading on the toes of other colleagues who teach in, in the same field. I bring my students over to the Huntington, and the Huntington has extraordinary collections in Irish literature and culture, and we always spend a day over there so that they can kind of encounter them firsthand. Um, I have to tell them not to touch them um, in most cases, uh, but but they can see them, and, they, and, and it really sort of changes how they think about things. Although I've been here 25 years, and although I think I know the institution and I know the students, the really exciting thing is that it's never the same institution from year to year and from decade to decade. We're constantly uh, transforming ourselves. My name is Aditya Bhagavathy. I'm a senior undergraduate and I'm studying computer science. There's a lot to be said about how athletics complements uh, academics and I really believe that I learn a lot about technical skills and I learn about problem solving in the classroom but I learned how to deal with adversity and how to challenge myself on the track. It's taught me how to rise above what I expect of myself, how to rise above what I thought I could accomplish, and to set the bar a little bit higher. That's really the essence of running, right? You, you set a PR, you feel good about it, but then it's, can you run faster? Can you jump higher? Can you throw a little further? You know, I started out doing a surf, and I really understood uh, what problem solving means. Then I went and I entered it in Google and I saw what problem solving means in a more practical industri industrial setting. And I, I even had a chance to go to Goldman Sachs to get a feel for business. I'm David Anderson. I'm a professor of biology and biological engineering. What we've discovered is that in both flies 
and in mice, there are small groups of neurons in the brain that control both mating and fighting behaviors. This may represent a general principle for how the brain represents and controls social behavior. And flies allow me to play with science. That's something that Richard Feynman emphasizes in his books, the importance of play in scientific discovery. So I came to Caltech working in a completely different field, and after about 20 years, I decided it was time for a change. It was necessary for me to retool completely my laboratory and to make a change in field like this is kind of like trying to change a sailboat into a motorboat while it's moving through the water without slowing down. Private support will allow you to step out into this new territory and essentially to reinvent yourself, which is what I did. My name is Azita Emami. I'm a professor of electrical engineering and medical engineering at Caltech. I'm excited about uh, two different areas of research. The first one involves the future of high-performance computing. Our goal is to dramatically reduce the power consumption and make this kind of communication systems very energy efficient. Another area that I'm very excited about is medical engineering and biomedical devices. Imagine these devices can be injected inside the body for sensing, diagnostics, and even treatment of chronic diseases or cancer research. My students are building very, very small wireless devices that do not need batteries, and we are collaborating with other researchers at Caltech, USC, UCLA, and City of Hope to make devices that can change the life of many patients uh, in the world. Right now at Caltech, I'm trying to read the mind of my mouse and of my fly. This year, I'm looking forward to unraveling the mysteries at Gale Crater. I'm excited about working with my colleagues to develop and run these simulations. I'm really looking forward to making as many friends just so I can carry over some of Caltech with me when I graduate. This year I'm looking forward to starting new research in the areas of medicine. I'm excited about everything that's coming my way this year in teaching and research and I can't wait to get started on it. Right now at Caltech I'm in my dream lab space. We're shooting for the stars and I'm really excited to see just how far we can go.